Hey, my name is Phil and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a brand new tool to the market called Labrica. And in this Labrica review, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly what the tool does and sort of show you how it works so you can decide if this tool is actually right for you. Just to let you know before I get started, they are currently having a lifetime deal. I've left the link in the description and you can go ahead and get a lifetime license for just 69 bucks. So make sure you go and check that out. So what is Labrica and what does it do? Well, basically it is a SEO tool that people use to either optimize their content, optimize their websites, or help themselves get on top of rankings, right? To get higher in the search engines. Now, when it comes to websites and SEO, uh, I've dabbed in it before. I've always still learning, but there's always things that you don't know. Luckily, this tool has made it a lot easier in terms especially uh, to do with the content that you create. I'll show you what I mean in a second. But basically, if you are struggling with SEO, if you just want something to keep an eye on your rankings, as well as give you suggestions how you can get ranked higher, this is the tool for you. It is a very powerful tool and it is extremely well priced, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so this is probably the thing you've been looking for. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna jump behind the screen and I'm gonna show you Labrica. Okay, here we are behind the screen. First of all, I'm gonna start off on the Labrica homepage. I just basically wanna show you what you can uh, expect to see. Now, if you scroll right down to the bottom, you'll find the pricing. As you can see, it's $19 a month for the lowest plan, all the way up to 140 per month. And you can also increase it here. But if you go to the link in the description, it's actually gonna take you to a lifetime deal plan, which is currently only $69. Um, and if you see what you're actually entitled to, you can get 500 keywords and 10,000 page crawling credits per month just like on the website here. So basically you're paying once and you get it forever versus paying $20 per month forever. So very worth looking into. Um, but I just wanted to quickly show you that. So what I've done is a couple of days ago, I put in my own website after I bought this uh, service from um, AppSumo and I'll show you what it does. So first of all, once you start, you can add in all your websites here. Just to start before I did um, the review video, I just put my one website on here for now. I'll put on all the rest later on, but you can just click on that. And basically what's happened is it's gone through and actually scanned the website and taken all the information from it. Now on the left of the tab here, you will see there are loads of different tabs that you can actually go into. The first one is the summary report, which is basically a summary of all of the information it's found. As you can see, it's found loads of errors inside of my website, which is really interesting to see. Um, there is also a lot of pages that aren't on the Google index, which is right because I've actually got a lot of bonus pages that are sitting on there as well. Um, so I'm not really worried about this one too much. It tells you all about your SSL certificates and all that sort of stuff like that. And you just can come down and basically see what they're finding wrong with your website. Now, something to think about is if you can make these possibly better than they are, there's a good chance that Google's gonna say, okay, this website's more complete, which means that you're actually gonna get more um, potential search traffic. So keep that in mind. But things like this, 404 error pages, right? It's found pages that I didn't even know had 404 errors that I need to go obviously back and fix. And coming down here, it talks about the site maps and it's got so much stuff here, right? Um, it's even talking about, you know, the speed and everything like that. So it's very cool. It's a, the most in-depth review I've actually ever seen, um, especially from a tool, a tool this valued. So that's the summary report. Uh, if we start at the beginning, we have here the site ranking and I've only just put in United States for my Google index. And basically it's gonna show you how my uh, rankings are doing and the changes, right? So I, I put it on on the 6th and as you can see, um, there's been a few ups and downs changes, but nothing too crazy, but I can just quickly keep an eye on how my rankings are going right, right here and there. As you can see, I haven't really posted much. I should probably get around to that, um, but I just love video too much. Now, next, if we go to the optimization and keywording group, this is where the fun really begins, right? So for this particular um, example, I'll just come to the, I'll just choose the top one, Funnel VO Review. It's a funnel software I reviewed a little while ago and I created an article about. What you can actually do is have a look at the text optimization and this is gonna tell you the things that are sort of lacking on your website, right? So it says the first four, you know, the keywords are good, the title's good, description's good, H1 is good, but the text on the page, um, it's saying that I use the word reviews far too much, so I need to figure something out for that, but that's fine. If I go to the, the latent somatic section, it's telling me I should add these words into the website somewhere. Basically what it's doing is it's been, um, it allows you to not overuse words and it helps you find like sort of relative words that other people are using on their websites that are ranking. Um, so what you can do is you can actually use this later. I'll show you how it works as well in a second. This is just an overview. Um, the real fun stuff happens next. 
And the next one is an error over spam pages. If I click on it and click on more info, it's saying that I'm using the tag H, the H3 tag far too much and the bold tag. So I got to go back through and change that. Super easy, right? So that's the text optimizer. You can do it for every single article. You can see um, what you've sort of done wrong. If you go to the content optimizer, however, this is when the fun really starts. What you can find inside of this column is actually all of the information you saw on the previous screen. However, you can actually edit it live and you can adjust your score to see how your new website's looking, right? So that's that's really powerful in itself. Um, it is a little bit slow for me today. My computer's having a bit of a nightmare, but it is extremely handy to have it able like this because you can come through see what needs to be done and then you can go ahead and re-upload it which is really cool and just like before there is the latent semantics that was um, mentioned and if i click on this button you can see they all pop up here on the right now the really interesting thing with this tool is if you aren't really sure how to use these particular key phrases that it says you should use if you hover over it you can actually click on one of these pages and it's going to show you how your competitors are actually using this keyword which is pretty ridiculous that i think about it um so what i'll do is i'll pull up one page now just to give you a bit of an example so these guys are all talking about it and this is where they've used those particular keywords which is really cool um but it's just something really novelty if someone has a use case for this this will be like gold to you um i need to learn a little bit more about seo to actually get on here right so basically that that's the um the content optimizer tool you can fix everything that's wrong with your blogs inside of the uh, optimizer or else you can go ahead and just take what's said um, from the text optimization and re-edit it i'll probably edit it live uh, make it a little bit better now we'll get into some of the nitty gritty stuff, right? The technical site audit, right? Now this is something that I was really shocked to see. As you can see, there are many technical errors which may be damaging to my rankings. Um, if we scroll down here, there's just oodles and oodles of stuff. Basically, it was like the summary report at the beginning, um, but going deep into it. And if you click on the little sort of shows and the descriptions, it tells you what's actually broken, what's not working with your website, which is really good to see. So basically after this video, what I'm going to do is come through here and start editing everything because there's loads of things wrong with the website. And hopefully if all goes well, I can actually get better rankings. So what I would generally do is on the left here, you've got all the red the red numbers and I would just come through here and go and try to fix all of these different things and once um, once you find that they are fixed you can actually recheck them and then you can start ticking off all the things um, for this particular one for four XX errors so if I clicked on page with this link it actually show me the page with this link I can click on it I can find where the link is and I can fix it right things like that very very cool but you can come through, change them all. Everyone's website's going to be different as well. So I won't bother going through each and every one, but have a good look because it's um, very powerful stuff. Next one is the SEO audit, right? The summary SEO audit here shows you how your rankings are going, just like in the summary report. Um, you can find all the things inside of here. This six pages have got thin content, you know, uh, 10 pages have got keyword stuffing, which is interesting and all of these different things so basically in this entire tool just to get your website right you want to go through everything fix everything and then um you know all you have to do is focus on your articles right and the next tool we have here is the user behavior data now i haven't actually hooked up my google analytics um, so it can't show me too much about that but if you put it in your google analytics it's going to tell you how your users are going through your website which is really really powerful stuff um, as well as things like bounce rate keywords they're using you know organic bounce rate and pages without traffic things like that so you can actually work on and increasing the numbers and like keeping more attention of your website uh, it's a very cool metric to have and just to understand then next we have what's called the essential elements now inside here you can actually look at your competitor analysis as well as essential landing page elements and your top competitors um, it's a bit of a weird tool to be honest I if I go say to top competitors it's going to show me like you know the big 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 people which um, doesn't really mean too much to me because Capterra is, is a review platform as well so unfortunately my industry is not too good uh, for that but dope review and sales funnel expert very good websites as well if I go to the essential page uh, elements you can see it doesn't really tell me too much it just says which things are listed and which things aren't which um isn't really super beneficial for me and if I go to competitor analysis it also doesn't tell me too much just everyone uses HTTPS they have product feedbacks business hours and all this sort of good stuff so I mean if I really wanted to I could go through and add all these things to my website um, but it's probably a little bit excessive for my use case 
Now there's also linking strategies. You can see all your internal links as well as external links, which is really nice to have. And then the last thing you have is uh, tools, which I think is a really powerful tool. So we've got change of pages and positions. So basically what you can see is um, which rankings have dropped. As you can see, these two have gone down a couple of sp spaces. Uh, which ones have increased? None, unfortunately for me. And then increased rankings in general. Basically it's gonna show you which ones have progressed during the time, which is really, really handy. You've also got page properties, right? And it's going to just tell you all about your pages, um, how big they are, things like that, how long it takes to load. I don't know if you'd use that sort of stuff, but it's got all the ones with the errors and all the ones with um, redirects and all that sort of stuff, which is handy. But one that I really like is the comparison report. What you can actually do here is you can choose some dates and see how they've got uh, how they've changed over the differences and you can click this button here show any differences and it shows you which metrics are, um, are better than the last ones or worse so if you're doing some work to the website leave it for a couple of days obviously then you can see if there's been any effect from the work that you've done very good for clients as well um, to have that sort of thing yeah, so that's Labrica, guys. It's such a cool tool. What I'm going to do right now is actually just jump behind the screen and uh, say a few extra things. Okay, so that was Labrica. As you can see, it is a powerful tool. If you are all about SEO and you want to keep an eye on your rankings, you've got clients that want help with SEO and getting their website seen by Google a lot better, then this is the tool for you. Once again, it's on lifetime deal right now, so you can't beat the price that it's having. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description. But apart from that, that is it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it's shown you how this tool actually works. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And once again, thank you for coming and watching the video. I'll see you on the next one.